Hey summoners and welcome back to another ProGuards Wild Rift video. My name is Kirks and in today's video we're going to talk about the biggest issues in the third season of Wild Rift. So without any further ado, let's get straight to it. Another season, another complaint about MMR or LP gains. I know it's annoying to hear, but we are still facing some major issues. For example, I have received multiple reports of fresh accounts that reached Diamond with a barely positive win rate and they were getting 15 LP and only minus 10. Even worse, some people also report that some fresh accounts, yet again without a high win rate, gain plus 20 and only minus 10 in Master. This creates a huge issue and I'm sure not everybody has those gains, but some have them. And apparently, for no specific reason, that is at least visible. From personal experience, or at least for me, my jungle smurf gains plus 20 and minus 10, but that's probably linked to its win rate, but you never know. However, it would seem more fair to change the LP system in Diamond and above to a mark system. Let it be similar to Emerald and below, and let players play for plus 1 or minus marks. This would at least make competition easier and obviously more fair, and also reduce matchmaking times in one solid go. I know, they've told us that they are going to try and fix matchmaking in the next major patch in the form of 2.5, but as for now, it's gotten better, but it's still far from being good. You sometimes even get the full elo spectrum from challenger to emerald in one game. And no, it's not inactive or decayed accounts, it's literally players who peaked emerald or have been there and played for some time. So the matches are honestly kinda rigged. Nonetheless, I'm still in queue for sometimes up to 20 minutes when I'm trying to queue on my main account. And as all of you know, after 20 minutes, you just get a queue reset and have to queue up again. So let's hope that the matchmaking change in 2.5 will take proper care of this and isn't just some band-aid like the more recent adjustment. Before we continue with today's video, make sure to check out our Discord in the description below. From giveaways to regular community events, we basically got everything covered, so what are you waiting for? Catch you there. Next up on this list comes Toxicity, and it appears that Season 3 is just way more toxic than the seasons before. I have never encountered as many intentional rundowns in Challenger ELO than in this season. Yes, some players happened to troll pick certain champions when they had certain individuals on their team, but they just didn't run it straight down mid. I've also yet to see, yeah this might be sample size related, that an Inter gets properly punished. I'm not talking about having a bad game that might happen to anyone at any point. This is just natural. But you just cannot explain a 0-25-0 game without some severe mental gymnastics. And the only punishments I'm aware of as of right now are chat restrictions for basically months and the punishment for win traders. Taking all that into account, we have also to deal with the topic of AFKs. Especially for the more casual player base, it feels infuriating and frustrating to be forced into playing with an AI almost every second game. And from what I've been told, it seems quite the issue in the lower brackets and requires some kind of fix. And that rather sooner than later. The next issue is one that I'm suffering a lot from, in-game lag. In basically every game, I'll encounter multiple situations in which my joystick isn't responsive anymore and everything is delayed heavily. I've tried swapping from Wi-Fi to LAN and back and it didn't change anything. Whenever I ran the network records, I was shown that the match server delay was insanely high, whereas other connections were between 2 and 9 ms. On the PC variant, I'm not encountering any of these issues, as everything works flawlessly. At least, most of the time. And you should never jinx technology, it never ends well for you. But for the future, I hope there will be new solutions to those connection issues, but I understand that they cannot be fixed within a day and require time and effort. But I'm more than confident that Riot Games will deal with them within a decent period of time. Ok, let's take a break for our question of the day. What is your biggest personal issue with Season 3? Let us know in the comments below. Another issue we've always been preaching about is the dragon. With the changes to Herald, it's not almost always better to go for the Herald rather than the dragon in solo queue, maybe even in competitive. However, most solo queue players simply don't know anything about that. They value dragons higher than their own car in real life. I don't know, it's just very confusing sometimes. Like, last time I played a game and for some reason my Grandmaster Akali thought a mountain dragon was more important than getting Baron. I was just completely lost. I just couldn't understand how you could ever think that, but the issue happens way earlier, at least usually. At the 4 minute mark, so when Dragon and Herald spawn, people think about what they want to do and don't consider what their teammates are doing. So it's not a rarity that you'll see two people go for the Herald, whereas the rest of the team chooses to suicide for a dragon they simply cannot get. Briefly after though, they'll make sure to open the chat and let you know that you're stupid for not going for the dragon. It's almost ironic and funny sometimes to see what they come up with when they're literally in. 
To summarize again, for all the players that don't know, losing a dragon doesn't mean anything in solo queue. You can even lose all dragons up until the Elder and just get the Elder and you'll still be smiling. Trade dragons as a source of additional stats, so basically the same as gold. But never forget that you cannot force your teammates to play like you want, you may only suggest and adapt to the situation you're in. The next thing we have to talk about is the lack of a pause button for competitive games. I know this doesn't concern the vast majority of players, but oh my, the amount of games that have been lost in professional play due to the lack of a pause button is insane. Just in a recent Origin series, a player's game crashed and as he loaded back into the game he was forced to replay the tutorial. And all that while the competitive game was still ongoing. Just imagine the amount of frustration and anger you're feeling in such situations. Nobody wants to feel like that and I personally hope that the player and the player's team recover from the setback and come back stronger in the future. With all that said, we're at the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow.